Hi guys, welcome to the Mythic Booster channel and welcome to more Geek at Heart goodness. My name's James and I'm going to guide you through how you can all set up OBS for hassle-free streaming, whether that's on Twitch or YouTube, so everyone can enjoy all the goodness that you guys have to offer as well. So stick around because after this we're going to get straight, straight, straight stuck into it. Go. Okay guys, so as I said, I'm going to help you all get set up with OBS. This is a pain. It's really difficult. It's not the easiest bit of software to set up. So from all the research that I've done to try and get the perfect way to stream, I'm going to help you all set it up now. So the first thing I'd like you to do is I'd like you to open up OBS. And in the bottom right hand corner, I'd like you to open up the settings. If I put that across here so you guys can all see exactly what's going on. So basically, we're going to start off with the general tab at the top. You've got the two modes which you can change in between. Uh, you know, Akiri, which is... Ooh, I have never I like it. Why have I not been using this mode before? We've got the default mode, which is far too bright, frankly. Uh, Rachi, never used that mode either. Acri, I quite like. That's quite cool. Um, but for benefits, so I know how to use it, I'm going to keep it on dark. Um, none of these other settings we really need to change. Um, I'm going to scroll down just so you can make sure your settings are all exactly the same. Um, but I've not needed to change these. These are the default settings. Okay, next we are going to go on to stream. The first, this is your YouTube settings or your Twitch settings. So you will pick your service, whether it's YouTube, YouTube Gaming and or Twitch or whatever. And then on here, you'll have your primary YouTube ingress server and your stream key. Your stream key is the little key that when you go on to your basically your live stream, uh, it's on the right hand side and it will tell you your stream key. You put that in there and it works. Don't ever, 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 however, share it with anyone because if anyone has that stream key, they can then stream to your YouTube channel. Which could be really, really bad. So we're not going to do that. Okay, let's let's not do that. Okay, then we've got output. Right, this is where it gets confusing. Like really, really confusing. Um, so on the output mode, um, I've got this set up because I'm currently recording through OBS. So some of these you'll be able to change, some of these you won't. But I'm currently recording. So on streaming, you need to set your encoder to times 264 or x264 setting. Uh, enforce streaming service encoder settings. You want to enforce these and you're going to rescale your output to 1280 by 720. Main reason being you're going to get a really good quality stream. Uh, it's going to be pretty lag free as well. If you have got an epic next level computer and processor, you can set this to 1920 by 1080. Um, and then, you know, your computer can keep up. But to be honest with you, for, for what looks great, I think 1280 by 720 works. That's what I've got mindset to. Um, then you want to go to your CBR. Rate control is going to be CBR. Your bit rate, this is important. So what you need to do is you need to work out how you can basically find out what your, your bit rate could possibly be for your internet. I'm going to go into that after this little chunk how you can find out your bit rate okay so stick around i'm going to show you how you can find your bit rate don't go anywhere i'm going to show you how you can find your bit rate and it's not speedtest.net because that's the accurate form. okay so then after that key frame interval in seconds is two cpu usage so basically very fast is sort of mid ground so essentially the slower you go down is is going to sort of like how good your cpu if you've got an epic pc you can probably get away with like fast but to be very fast just works well you know even if you've got a good pc it's going to carry on working well so just stick with very fast profiles main now this open cl space equals space true now i don't know how much truth there is in it but it seems to work so this is a command line that basically tells your pc to basically totally spam your graphics card and use your graphics card help stream if you've got um, a really great graphics card this is really going to help but however it's going to take some of that load off your cpu and pass that on your graphics card. it's not absolutely cpu because streaming kills your cpu you need a good cpu stream. okay recording settings 
This is recording settings now. You can see where I'm recording. Audio tracks, I want to record my first three audio tracks, but I'm going to show you how to set up your audio tracks in a minute. Your encoder is going to be Envench H264, again, 1280 by 720. Uh, your rate control is going to be CPR, but your bit rate can be 50,000 because you're not streaming it for anything. Like that. It's coming straight from your PC. That is fine. The preset is going to be default, the profile high, the level is going to be auto. We're going to use two pass encoding, a GPU zero beat frames two. Easy peasy. Audio. Okay. This is where it comes in. You're going to set your audio bit rate to 320 and you can give the names. I've got my microphone on one, I've got my active game or my desktop down coming in on audio track two, and I've got then goes, uh, I've then got both those sounds mixed on the third track. You can change yours, you can set it up, you'll see this how, you will see how this becomes, in it. And then your replay buffer can just be left alone. That is your output settings. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to go on of how you guys can find out how fast your bit rate is. Hang around, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay guys, so as I said, you need to know what your proper upload speed is. You're going to do that by going to testmy.net. You're then going to go to an upload test and we want to manually do a test size. Our manual test size is going to be 50 meg and then it's going to run a test for us through the power of post-production run through we're going to come to this at the end okay so through the magical of post-production you can now see that it's given me an upload proper upload speed of 7.9 megabytes per second so this we now know we sort of add a thousand on and that would be 7900 bytes per second let me just cross relate it for you look over here i will put this back here so you can see on the screen here, if we go to our output settings and we go to our stream, down here is 5,000 bitrate. That's our bitrate. So we were on 7,900. Do you want to take a couple of thousand off? So 6,000 I thought was a little bit high. I bought it down a bit. 5,000 bitrate will be amazing on that. So for example, your bitrate on here was 5 megabytes per second. You would set your bitrate to 1,000. It is as that but with this you actually know where you stand and what your upload actually is okay for the start of this next little bit i've turned me off so you can see what's going on first thing i want you guys to do is i want you to right click on this little sound icon i want you to click recording devices and that is going to then open up this little chipperoo over here what you need to do is within your microphone so mine is my condenser mic you're going to click on properties and over here on advanced you're going to see this default format two channel 32 bit 44 100 hertz studio quality if you set that microphone to that setting and then the other setting you check is in playback settings your standard speakers right click and properties again and then on advanced, 24-bit, 44, 100, uh, studio quality, blah, 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 so on and so forth. You need to make sure those are set. And the reason being is, once they are set, see them? On here, you can then see under our next setting, which is audio, this sample right here, 44.1 kilohertz. Those two settings have to match. It's really important that they match. Otherwise, it will all sound a little bit funky and a little bit weird. So, on Channels, stereo, speakers is your standard speakers where your desktop audio comes through. Your mic is going to be your standard microphone, whether that is a microphone that you've got plugged in. For me, it's a condenser microphone. If it's the microphone in your webcam or if it's the microphone on your headset microphone, that is what you are setting there. Audio meter decay rate, fast, and then leave all of this shizzle alone because you don't need that shit. Okay, so the last couple of settings we're going to mess with are video settings. I can't adjust mine because you're being streamed, or you're being recorded, should I say, at least, anyway. So your base canvas resolution, this is the base resolution of the monitor you are using. So, for example, if your window, you know, your Windows display is set to HD, so 1920 by 1080, set it to that. I've got some 21-inch monitors that are 1680 by 1050 resolution. You set it to that but however your output scaled resolution i suggest you scale down to sort of a 720p resolution it just works better it just works better if you've got an epic computer guys set it to 1080 by all means it's a little bit of trial and error try 720 twice try 1080 i prefer the 720 res common fps value 
30 res. I know this works every time. I know it doesn't mess my stream up. I know I don't get drop frames. It just works great. Um, if you've got an epic PC, again, with a great graphics cards and great CPU, because streaming kills your CPU, set it to 30. And if you've got this epic setup, set it to 60. Easy as that. The last couple of ones, hotkeys. This is where you can just add stuff in. I've got hotkeys set up to mute and unmute my microphone. So if I want to do that during stream, um, and I've got other bit settings. So I can actually make, for example, graphics fly in midstream. If I want a like and sub button to appear, I can do that. Um, if you guys want to find more about how to do that, bang a comment down below. We want to hear how to do effects during streams or whatever. Show us more games or whatever. Bang that in the comments. Make sure you like the video and I'll make sure I do it for you guys. That's really important. Setting it up. And advanced settings, leave them alone. Scary, scary. You know, seriously though, every single bit of research I've done to do with setting up OBS, whether it just stuff on Reddit, other videos, or whatever, no one's ever touched the advanced settings. Okay, the last thing I want to do with you guys is to enter you into paradox mode. Bar loads and loads. Um, I want to show you guys how and why these last bits relate. All we've got down here is just different scenes, whether that be for my smoking mirror streams, like it says here, YouTube stream for Fortnite. In here, we've got our other settings, what's being displayed, it's irrelevant. But the bit we want to look at to do with setting up your stream is to do with your audio settings here. If you right click and go to advanced audio properties, what you can actually see is here, you can see these audio settings, and this is how they relate settings that we had previously so for example you can see my mic is set to track one my desktop audio is set to track two and then i've got a shared audio between both of them set to track three so if you've got that here see yeah microphone here let me just make this a bit wider so you can see see microphone track one desktop audio track two both together on track three this then relates to our settings so on our settings here, you could see in uh, on output, on audio, track one was called microphone. It's at this, track two, track three. And this is how it all relates together so you guys can see. This is it, as simple as that. If you want to find out more how to essentially add scenes in, add sources for your scenes in, as I said, guys, make sure you bang the likes. Make sure you ask for it in the comments. Cool guys, and that is that. That is my ultimate guide for setting up OBS. This was a total pain for me to work out forever and ever and ever. It took so much research to find out some decent settings that actually worked. So please, please guys, take the time to bang a like on this video if it helps you guys. Any comments that you have, I love hearing, or any questions that you have, fire my way and I will do the very best to ask them. So, as I said guys, if you haven't subscribed, Make sure you subscribe. If you find this helpful, I have loads of other reviews. I've got things like my Razor Basilisk review, which I'll put a link to up here. I've also got a review on how to overclock your CPU, which I will also put a link up here. So if you're subscribed, use the little notification bell because then you'll never miss a video. I hope you guys have found this really helpful. I've been James. James? James? I've been James giving you Geek Art Mythic. Come back and we'll see you again soon. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye.